So there's this place called the Attic and Clothes Closet. And it's at the seminary where my wife and I live and where I go to school. And it's a place where people can donate clothes and anything like furniture, uh, decoration, books, anything. Literally, it's just donate anything they want. Uh, pretty much is what it is, is they're getting rid of stuff. It's just take your junk to this place. Instead of taking it to Goodwill or something like that, take it to this place. And then what happens is the seminary families go, go to the attic and clothes closet and they can go and they can take anything that they need or, or want. So I could go there and get some clothes. I've gotten some of my clothes there. Carrie's gotten some of her clothes there. Um, we've gotten some house decorations there. You know, it, it's pretty much you just go and you just look and see if you know. And we've donated whatever we don't want. Instead of going to Goodwill, we've given it to them. So it's this really cool place. And so as you imagine, it's a lot of stuff, okay? Um, a lot of stuff there. It's kind of funny because the attic is actually in the basement of a building. It's kind of funny. I wonder if it was originally in the attic of something and then it went to... Anyways, so um, that's just to set up the story. So we go there one day and Carrie finds a candle. And she loves finding candles there because she's, you know, a girl and, and likes candles and stuff. And this candle was like an aqua bluish, you know, like uh, aqua bluish, greenish, kind of dark colored candle. And it was a round candle and it was, it, it was like... I don't know, like, it was, it was a pretty decent sized candle. Well, attached to it was this um, tag, basically, or it was actually, I think it was wrapped around it. Yeah, that, that was, this thing was wrapped around it, actually, is, it opens up, wraps around it. All right, now, you're thinking, why is today all about a, t a thing wrapped around a candle? You just have to listen to this, all right? I just want to point out how ridiculous this is, all right? The candle's cool, whatever, but but this was on the candle, and I, it, it blows my mind what people do nowadays. It's crazy, I'm telling you. I mean, I just, let me just read to you what is on this piece of paper, all right? Let me just, let me just show you what's on this piece of paper, all right? This is the front, basically, and this is like a direction side, and then this is like a warning sign. All right? Just just wait. Just you're not going to believe this. This is called the Good Health Reiki Energy Charged Candle. Okay? A Good Health Reiki Energy Charged Candle. The moment I read that I thought, "Wait a second. This is going to be a little weird." All right? And down towards the bottom of this it says Crystal Journey Candles, handcrafted herbal magic candles. And I thought, this has got to be a joke, right? I mean, there's no way that this is for sure. So this is the um, quote on the front, all right? There's a quote here. I believe in the healing powers of the universe and its ability to restore health. May these powers guide me to a state of complete well-being. Seriously? I'm like... What? And this, these people make money? Okay. Let me read to you um, the part with the barcode, and it's kind of like a caution thing. It says, handcrafted in Essex, Connecticut. Caution! We urge you to use our candles in the love and light with which they were, were created. Remove the label before lighting. For best results, place in a suitable flame-proof dish and trim wick to quarter inch before lighting. What does it say? Caution. We urge you to use our candles in the love and light with which they were created. A candle? I'm sorry, but apparently these people's purpose of life is candles. I thought pickles were ridiculous. Okay. So, here is the greatest thing that I thought I needed to point out. This, this was... This was the part that just was like, I've, I've got to just show everybody this. This is the directions. It says, charge your candle, sit in your sacred place, and will the energy to surround and protect yourself with the magical white light of the universe. Hold the unlit candle and begin to feel the energy held within. Will the magic energy into your being where it is most needed. It is now time to light your candle and recite the candle's blessing. Here's the blessing. Manifest a miracle. 
I will it so, so be it. I, there are people in this world that actually believe this. And I have a feeling that the people who made this candle are just sitting back laughing at them. I have a feeling that this is just a business ploy. I, I really don't think the people who made this candle actually really do believe this. Now, it's possible that they do. But can you just imagine, hey, let's make this candle and let's, let's make up some crazy stuff and put it on it so people will buy it like new age people. And I'm just like, you know, but did you hear that? It's just, it's just like, seriously? You need to will the magical energy into your being where it is most needed. I'm just like, dude, what they could have put on here is you can will anything. You could will yourself to be a pickle. I mean, take the healing magical powers of the universe and will yourself to be a giraffe. I mean, it's just like, I know, okay, there are people that believe this, and I'm not making fun of them, I'm just making, pointing out the ridiculousness of their belief system, okay, because I love, I would love these people, if these people actually came up to me and told me this, I wouldn't sit in their face and make fun of them like this, I would actually love on them and care about them, you know, show Christ's love on them, but I would point out the ridiculousness of their belief system, not of who they are and their person, but I would point out the ridiculousness of their belief system and show the reasonableness of my belief system, all right? But this is a piece of paper that I'm making fun of, and it just is ridiculous that this is the way some people live and believe, all right? Now, here's the thing. There are people that believe this stuff, but it's funny that they won't want to believe in Christianity, but yet... To me, it takes more faith to believe this stuff than it does to believe in Christ and in Christianity. Because where's the evidence here? And Christianity has tons of evidence, and that's a whole other thing about apologetics and stuff, but crazy, right? I mean, it's just, just crazy. Please, I, I, I'm just speechless when I read this stuff. Anyways... That's it for today, and always remember, my name is James, and I am your friend.